first three minutes are the usual waste of time. The orphanage lady explains that the experiments in Kinder Info 11 were to create a perfect soldier. A person without empathy. No real issue yet. Goals and methods are a bit wacky, but understandable. She also explains that everything and everyone that could prove that this really happened is gone now. Except for one supervisor who apparently changes identity and is hiding somewhere in the country. Emma concludes that it has to be Hartmann. This means that Hartmann actually only changed his name and then settled down in the very same city that was running from the elf, and no one ever recognized him. Alright then. Before the lady can explain in detail what exactly went down in from the elf, we get a cutaway cliffhanger. Eh. The next scene implies that Hartmann is picking up Dita, which would mean that the nurses completely ignored Emma's advice, but him telling them not to give Dita to anyone else was stupid anyway. Emma had no proof that he's Dita's legal guardian, very much unlike Hartmann, and he didn't even tell anyone in the hospital that Dieter was living in an abusive household. Which his bruises would at least be sufficiently suspicious for. Anyway, back to Denmark. Often a JD explains that, thanks to the unnatural death of the director, fights about his succession began, and together with non-specific conspiracies from the kids, everyone started killing each other. Seems rather absurd. You'd think the people working there would have pretty great discipline, but there is not enough information to make a conclusion. Same as to how exactly Johann Gess led everyone to killing each other. Maybe it could actually be written a way that would be believable. Pieces are there. I am 100% certain that now he could not pull it off though. We then cut back to Dita and see that it is indeed Hartmann who picks him up. They then go to the ruins of Hymnard Elf, despite Dita's protest, and they apparently did this before, judging from his knowledge of where they're headed. Also, I wanted to wait for this line to give a definitive plus one to this counter. Now Tenma is at the hospital, where he doesn't explain again that Dita is being abused, for some fucking reason. Seriously Tenma, if you took the 10 seconds back then, they probably would have concluded he was threatening Dita themselves. But hey, it is way more dramatic this way, right? Tenma then enters Hartmann's flat, because Naoki still doesn't understand the concept of apartment doors, and starts snooping around. The first thing he pays more attention to are the photographs of Hartmann with a different little boy each, which he checks very thoroughly. For some reason. Luckily for him, he also finds a picture of Johan and some other guy that's here as well. Good that Tenma decided to do something that should have been fruitless, I guess. He also notices that all the pictures were taken in front of Kinder Infinite Elf, where people died. And Hartmann has pictures of more kids on his own. And Dieter is a kid that is in Hartmann's care. So, obviously Hartmann is taking Dieter to Kinder Infinite Elf to kill him. Which just happens to be true. Scene is... Pretty silly. After breaking into the ruins of Nerd Elf, despite Hartmann being in here as well and not for the first time, but eh, Tenma is put on edge by a sound. The sound is Dieter's football, which bounces off the stairs so perfectly that you'd think he did that on purpose. It is also obviously CGI, but this time it doesn't look completely horrendous. Tenma sees Dieter sitting on the fanciest fucking throne in all of East Germany, whoever placed this thing here, and why? He was also beaten the ever loving shit out of again. Then Hartmann steps out of the shadows very dramatically, which means that he planned his exact appearance like that in universe. What a drama queen. Hartmann then goes on about some complete fucking nonsense for five minutes, along with shit we already knew. The only salvageable pieces of information here are that Johan was the big evil even before he came to Fifth Night Elf, and that he's also always been a massive doomer who loves to spot pretentious nonsense. Also that big ass troll was apparently always here too. Hartmann then puts his gun to Dieter's head, and also tells Emma that he thinks it's impossible to find and kill Johan, for some reason. He then tells Emma to find General Wolf, who was also the guy who found Johan on the check board. Emma then tells Dieter to leave Hartmann. Dieter does that, which is apparently enough to shatter Hartmann's entire worldview and makes him suffer a mental breakdown. <laughs> Tenma tells Dieter to go to the orphanage, but Dieter just kicks the CJ football, which does look completely horrendous this time, and follows Tenma anyway. Accompanied by music that tells me I just entered a tutorial build in some shitty MMO.